If you want to know how to have a form share the results with participants of that form automatically in a public way, this is how you do it. How can we get Google Sheets to share open hyperlinks to all viewers? This has been initially uploaded through Google Forms. That's very interesting. So I'm going to assume here that someone wants to send responses or send access to a form to people who are submitting responses to the form. And the best way that I can think of that is to share every response on the form, either via a thank you page, which I'll show you how to do, or via an email. I mean, I can't think of a scenario where you would do this, but let's give it a go anyway. Let's see how we do it in forms. Okay, cool. So we're gonna open up a form here. We're gonna go form.new and let's open up a fresh Google form. And this is gonna be our demo form. Okay, and let's say submit your URL to share. And let's make it really obvious that we're submitting a URL to share here. Okay, wonderful, cool. So that's done. Next, we're gonna make this a text box. Let's make it a short answer. And we may even be able to set some validation here on the field. Let's go to response validation. So it needs to be text and it needs to be URL. And that's not a URL if they try and put something else in there. Okay, and we're gonna make it required. And there's a little trick that you can do when you're setting up a form. And that is that you can have the form link to a Google spreadsheet. And so you'll see here, if I click onto responses, there is a button to link to sheets. So I'm gonna click link to sheets and demo form responses. Yeah, let's say URL responses, just so it's really obvious. We'll create that spreadsheet and it's gonna link it to a spreadsheet for us. Wonderful, okay. So again, I don't know why you would do this, but let's do it anyway. I mean, this, I mean, this is just gonna leak people's personal information. Okay, for starters, let's turn off the responses, including email addresses. Do not collect email addresses, okay. Restrict to IT Genius and its trusted organizations. No, nah, we don't need to do that. Okay, cool. I think I'm happier with this now because it's not actually going to collect email addresses and then somehow start distributing that information to other people. That would be weird. So we have our form. If we want to preview the form, we click the preview button here and that shows us the preview to this form. So it's just asking one question, which is the URL to share. But let's say we want to share these responses and we want to share all the URLs because that's what the person has asked. The person said, want to share and open hyperlinks to all viewers. They've initially been uploaded through Google Forms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this responses page and basically make that public. So I'm going to make that accessible to anyone with the link to make them view only. It would be inappropriate to make it editable. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to put that on the thank you page of the form. So settings and confirmation message. There we go, after submission. So I would say, see results here, save. What would happen here is we would submit a URL. Now we set up some validation on the field. So if I tried to submit here is start text, that's not a URL, nice, okay, cool. But if I said itgenius.com, it's gonna let me submit it. Wonderful, okay. And I'm gonna submit a few more responses just to test it, test.com, submit another response, Google, dot com submit another response and then anyone who's submitted their piece can click on to see results here Ta-da! we have reasonably anonymized data and we have url to share there we go clickable urls shared with all of the form participants now here's the thing i'm curious about is does it show who submitted the form in the version history okay so it just says form responses in the revision history meaning that it's not going to expose any of the individual's email addresses and therefore identity if you were the one submitting the form. So I think that's pretty safe. That looks pretty good to me. That one worked. I've got to say one of the weirder requests I've got on this channel, but there we go. If you want to know how to have a form, share the results with participants of that form automatically in a public way, this is how you do it. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on all the videos that you watch to let the algorithm know you want to hear more of it. And if you have a request for a particular video that you'd like me to do, well, you can drop it into our ask request here, ask.icgenius.com. Or if you have a more nuanced question or a longer question that you want to answer, I have answered, hit me up on socials. Head along to peter.tv and you'll see the link to all my socials there. I've got LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, 
send me a message and let me know what you're up to. If you've got some questions, if you're a customer of ours and you want to say hi, drop me a message. I'm active on all those socials and always love engaging with business owners. No matter where you are in the world, we'd love to hear from you.